Say hello. 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 So we just had dinner. Colton's. It's actually a really good place. I really liked it a lot better than I thought it was going to. Anyway, that's not why we're vlogging today. Today we are vlogging for something of a little bit more of a somber tone. Um, how do you tell us about it? Because I don't remember all the details. No, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, a while back, we'll have to get the exact date. I'm sure it'll tell us over here in a minute. The uh, Carrollton County bus crash where 28 kids died. They were on a, uh, a field trip with their church group. They were on the way home from a day at Kings Island and they were hit by a drunk driver. I don't know why this is making me emotional. I didn't know any of these kids. Anyway, the church group was from here in Radcliffe, Kentucky. So they have a commemorative bus that they sit out for display honoring the lives of the 28 children that were lost and every now and then that church group goes out outing still in the bus and the bus is parked here in the parking lot now my new store is just right over there so i actually get to see this on occasion i didn't re realize what it was but um let's see yeah yeah, it says on the side of the bus there, May 14th, 1988 is when that happened. Um, <clears throat> here we go. It says, every time I go out to educate and share the story of May 14th, 1988, I take hundreds of people with me. Sharing our story is a tribute to the victims, survivors, and all their families. They will always be in my thoughts and prayers. They are with me as we go and educate people about the dangers and consequences of getting behind the wheel of a car and driving drunk. In Carrollton on that night, all of our lives were forever changed because one person chose to get behind the wheel of his car and drive drunk. Now it's got the list of the survivors there. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to see a list of the uh, of those that didn't quite make it. There we go. Here, 27 lives. 27. Uh, at, at least, at least 25 of them were children. I'm sorry, I said 28. 28 <laughs> it's okay. was the one survivor. Yeah. That, that was pulled from the bus. Um, yeah. That's. There they have a picture of the bus after it was crashed. It's <clears throat> it's a terrifying idea, you know, and I don't expect everyone to understand because, well, I mean, there's a lot of pessimism and nihilism that seems to be popular these days when it comes to people that have kids and you know as famously joked about in Family Guy you know once you have a kid you're never the same well I'll tell you straight up from that experience once you have a kid that is true you're never the same but guess what once you lose that kid to something as senseless and angering and just just a dumb decision as drinking and driving, then th there's no explaining that hurt. There's no explaining that pain, you know, and... I know a thing or two about hurt and about pain and everything, but, you know, I still couldn't imagine losing one of my kids to something like this. Anyway, yeah.
But yeah, this is the bus that's meant to commemorate this this uh, horrible accident that happened. And it's something that we all, all have to keep in mind so that something like this never happens again. And unfortunately, it happens a little too much. And as you can see, May 14th, 1988, 27 reasons not to drink and drive. And the thing is, is that most of the time, if you're drunk, you could find some other way to get around. Most taxi companies will work with you. Um, you could find someone who's willing to be just a little bit more, I, I don't know. You can find a ride. You don't have to drive if you're drunk. And honestly, if you think that you can drive while you're drunk or buzzed or anything like that, just keep in mind. That guy there thought that he was only mildly buzzed when he decided to take 27 lives. Any parting words? Definitely less alcohol, more coffee. Definitely. See, that's, that's the thing, is that a lot of people don't seem to understand why I say that. Honestly. Alright, here's the thing. Alcohol, drugs, all that other stuff has taken so much from me. And it's taken so much from Stacy. That's why we say less alcohol, more coffee, is because there seems to be this idea that you can't have fun if you're not drunk or high or something, and that's not true. You can have lots of fun while you're completely sober, and we do have lots of fun while we're sober. So guess what? Less alcohol, more coffee. Don't drink, just wake up.